In the 1970s, the hit show The Love Boat helped make cruise boats a popular thing. The show utilized a real cruise boat as a backdrop for its comedy, with that cruise boat being the Pacific Princess. Several other boats were used on the show, with one of them named the Island Princess. Sadly, neither of these boats is still around, though they certainly led exciting lives before becoming scrap metal. Join Facts First as we take a look at the unbelievable story of what happened to the Love Boat cruise ships. The Love Boat was an incredibly successful show that hit the airwaves during the 70s. In addition to popularizing cruise ships, the show also offered plenty of Golden Age Hollywood stars the chance to catch one last break in the form of a guest spot. The show loved featuring new guest stars every episode, and many of these were big names from Hollywood's past. But the biggest star of Love Boat was arguably the Pacific Princess, which was the name of the main boat used as a backdrop in the series. Although the Pacific Princess was the main boat, it wasn't the only boat. According to the series' history, there were a total of seven different vessels that were officially used in some capacity as a backdrop over the course of the show's initial run, though many of these were used far less than others. The vessel that was used the most, besides the Pacific Princess, was the Island Princess. The reason multiple vessels were used was that filming often took place in a variety of locations around the world. When the show needed to film a scene in an exotic location, one of the other vessels was used so the Pacific Princess didn't need to be sailed halfway across the world. After the show ended, Princess Cruises put the Pacific Princess to use full-time as a cruise vessel. Princess Cruises had been in charge of the vessel since 1975, and the ship had also been utilized for cruises during the Love Boat's production run. In the late 90s, the ship was notoriously seized after a few of its crew members were caught in a drug bust. Heroin was found aboard the vessel, and the entire ship had to be searched by authorities. When the incident occurred, authorities evacuated all the passengers who had been vacationing aboard the vessel. The passengers were given the choice to either head home or wait for however long it would take for the investigation to occur. According to officials, the investigation took several weeks, though many passengers still chose to wait it out. 25 kilograms of heroin were found aboard the Pacific Princess while it was sailing from Greece to Turkey. Two crew members were arrested in the bust, as well as two passengers. These four people were caught outside the ship making a drug deal while the ship was stopped. They were arrested outside the ship before the kilograms of heroin were found. The four parties were eventually charged, and the Pacific Princess resumed its tenure as a cruise ship for a number of years before being sold to a rival company called Quail Cruises in 2002. It was subsequently renamed the Pacific. Princess Cruises handed over the original love boat to Quail Cruises because the ship had simply become no longer feasible to use in the wake of many improvements that had been made in the years since its construction. Princess Cruises brought in another cruise vessel and slapped the love boat's branding on it. Meanwhile, the original boat that had been used continued to be put to use by Quail Cruises for many years before eventually being sold for scrap in 2012. For many, it was a notable event when the original vessel was officially retired. It made its very last voyage in 2012, sailing to a scrapyard in Turkey. There, it was turned into scrap metal. At that time, the original Pacific Princess had been in service for over four decades in various capacities. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like, and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Although the original Pacific Princess was certainly an impressive vessel at the time it was produced, it was no longer quite as impressive by the time of its retirement. Bigger vessels had begun to dwarf ships over the years, and it was also equipped with outdated machinery. Before being sold for scrap metal, the ship had been sitting at an Italian dock out of service for a long while. Though the Pacific Princess became most famous as the Love Boat after its 1975 acquisition by Princess Cruises, the ship had originally gone by a different name. The Pacific Princess was built in 1971 when it was named the Sea Venture. The vessel had been built for flagship cruises, though it was later sold to Princess Cruises. It was soon after this the ship began its tenure as the titular Love Boat. The Love Boat was an hour-long comedy that featured an ensemble cast, in addition to a rotating cast of guest stars that added flavor to the show. The main cast consisted of the boat's crew, while the guest stars were mostly passengers. Some of the main cast members included Gavin McLeod, who played Captain Steubing. As the name suggests, he was the captain. Another main character was Gopher, who was played by actor Fred Granby. In addition to being an incredibly popular show, The Love Boat was also said to have increased the popularity of cruise ships in general. They still retain their popularity, though the recent COVID-19 pandemic certainly had a negative effect on the industry. 
The Pacific Princess was the ship that appeared the most over the course of the Love Boat's original run, but the Island Princess also made many appearances. The Princess Fleet was the name of the seven vessels featured on the show over the course of its production, and the Pacific Princess isn't the only one of these vessels to have been retired. In 2015, the Island Princess met the same fate as its sibling when it was sold and dismantled for scrap metal and parts. While shots of the various ships in the Princess fleet provided the backdrop for the Love Boat, the series' interior scenes were filmed in a completely different location. Most of the interior scenes were filmed at Sunset Bronson Studios, which is now the home of Judge Judy. While the Love Boat lived on for a period of time after the show's original run in the form of real-life vessels that served as its backdrop, the series itself has also lived on over the years in a variety of forms. One such form was a 1998 revival, though the revival wasn't very successful. It lasted for only one season on UPN. Perhaps the reason it wasn't as successful was that it didn't feature the real Pacific Princess. Instead, the vessel that was used was a ship called the Sun Princess, a Japanese boat. Recently, the ship that was purchased by Princess Cruises and rebranded as the Love Boat after the original Pacific Princess was sold has passed hands yet again. The sale comes in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic's effect on the cruise ship industry and many media outlets misleadingly claimed the vessel being sold was the original ship. But true fans know that the real Pacific Princess, later renamed to just the Pacific, was dismantled in 2012. Besides appearing on the new Pacific Princess, stars from the original show have also appeared on other modern ships in the Princess fleet. In 2014, the main cast of the Love Boat was brought to an event to collectively christen a new princess ship called the Regal Princess. Many decades after ending, the Love Boat still holds a place in the heart of the cruise industry. The vessel renamed as the Pacific Princess in 2002 has recently been sold to yet another cruise brand, this time by the name of Azamara. The ship is scheduled to begin sailing for its new cruise company in 2022. Now it's time to hear from you. Comment down below to share if you were surprised to learn about the fate of the original Pacific Princess. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.